Good afternoon, everybody. This is Kit Holmes. It is Transformation Tuesday, Tuesday, October the 13th, 2020. And um, today I want to talk about the power of water. Um, yesterday I was walking um, with my wife and our dogs through the neighborhood and back uh, around one of the corners, there's a, a I, I want to say a long abandoned street, but it was uh, at one point, probably 30 or so years ago, it was it was paved. Um, it's an undeveloped area of the of the development, undeveloped development. And um, I was noticing how over those years, the heavy rains that we get here in central Texas, sometimes the flooding rains and we go through droughts and we back and forth and back and forth. But that water, the rushing water, um, as water does, finds its own level obeying the laws of gravity, and over time has carved out enormous ruts. And some sections, half the road is, um, is, is very thin pavement where that's worn, and, and then the other half of the road has a, a drop off of maybe six or eight or more inches where it has become a natural place this water flows when it rains. And big rocks are exposed, and, and we're, on, we're on clay and limestone, so, um, it doesn't absorb a lot of water um, unless it is saturated with, you know, with the flooding and all that kind of thing. If we've had long extended rain, so I was just noticing, as I said, the water finds its own level. That is, um, no matter where we see it in the world, it's going to follow the laws of gravity. It's going to follow that channel, and where it can't, it will either knock things out of the way to create its own channel, or it will go over, or it will go around but it's always going to make its own path. One of the things we also know about water is, um, of course, that it is, uh, we've got to have it to live. Too much of it can kill us. Either, uh, either we can drown in it, um, we can be flooded by it, or not enough of it, we also die. We will shrivel up just like all the life forms if they don't have enough water. Everything will turn to desert. So if we're talking about the transformation of our lives, we think about that power of water. It is a natural element, and it follows the natural laws of the universe. The power of spirit, or the power of mind action, the, the laws of mind action, are the same way. That law, that energy, that spirit energy, that universal soul, whatever you want to call it, that that essence that we are, that divine essence that we are, is always moving through us, keeping us alive in the right balance. But when we block the message, when we block the inspiration, when we block the intuition that is guiding us to our next step to growth and healing, we start creating barriers. Eventually, that lesson, that intuition, that insight that wants to express through us is going to find a way to get through us. We've probably all heard the, um, the experience of receiving a cosmic two by four. Well, if we translate that to a flood, a flash flood, where we just cannot get out of the way anymore, and we've, or we've run, and we've tried to hide from our calling, it's going to find a way to get through. So in this brief lesson today about the power of water, take that image in. Over centuries, over time, we've seen all in places all over the world where just a drop of water can carve through rock. The repeated drip, 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 drip will create tidal pools and greater. So think about the drip, drip, drip of spirit. Always there. Take it in, receive it, work with it, let it mold you, let it shape you. It doesn't have to be a sudden explosion or flash flood. It's the welcoming in and recognizing that we are working with an immutable law. And when we work in concert with it, in harmony with it, 
the places we go, the places we can go, the things that unfold for us, the experiences that we call into our lives are beyond imagination. So pay attention. Welcome the water in. And while we're at it, we can say a little prayer to send a little more water to those places in the world that have been burning, that need the water to put the fires out. Too much, too little. We can see and know the right amount absolutely is happening in every, every moment of our lives. We can receive it gratefully. We can play with it. We can create with it. And we can transform our lives with it. So knowing that all is well, I declare that all is well in our lives. Everything is absolutely unfolding perfectly. I love you dearly, and I will see you next week.